All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to dimple your barrel for an AR-15 or an AR-10. Some barrels come with dimples already pre-drilled in them under the gas port of the barrel, but a lot of barrels don't come with any dimples drilled into them. And I've seen a lot of guys make the mistake, and quite a few people have asked me what kind of gas block they should get. Should they get a set screw version or the clamp-on version? So it's simple. If you have a barrel that's dimpled under the gas port, go ahead and get a set screw gas block. If your barrel isn't dimpled, either buy a clamp-on version of the gas block you want or dimple the barrel yourself. There are a few companies that make barrel dimpling jigs, but I really like the stuff that SLR Rifle Works puts out, so I went ahead and got their barrel dimpling jig. Now the SLR dimpling jig comes with the jig, a tapered set screw, and a set screw drill guide. You can also buy the two allen keys that go with the set screws for the jig and a drill bit to dimple the barrel, but those three things come separately. The jig itself has two sides. One side for gas blocks that have set screws that are 0 .40 inches apart from center to center. The other side is for gas blocks that have set screws that are 0.45 inches apart from center to center. To find out what side you need, just take your gas block and a set of calipers, open the calipers up to either 0 .40 or 0.45 and measure your set screw holes from center to center. Seeing as how I can't be behind the camera and doing the measurement in front of the camera, my calipers are off. They're not really center to center, but you really don't need to do center to center. You could go from the left edge of one hole to the left edge of the other hole or the right edge of both holes. And they'll still give you the same dimension as long as those two holes are the same size. I've already measured my gas blocks off camera and I know that they are 0.45 inches apart. Now on the dimple jig itself, one side has a dimple drilled into it and the other side doesn't. The side that has the dimple drilled into it is for gas blocks that have set screws that are 0.40 inches apart. And the other side that doesn't have the dimple are for gas blocks that have set screws 0.45 inches apart. Also the end that has that dimple drilled into it, that's the end that goes towards the muzzle. So I take my jig and seeing as how I'm going to be dimpling my barrel for set screws that are 0.45 inches apart, I'm going to make sure that the dimple on this jig is on the top of the barrel. So I slide the jig on and I get it to where the gas port in the barrel is centered in the rear hole. Then I'm going to take the tapered set screw that comes with the jig and I'm going to thread it into that hole. As I'm tightening it, I'm wiggling the jig around to make sure that taper goes into the gas port. And that's what's going to hold the jig in place to make sure everything is lined up correctly. Once I got the taper in the gas port and make sure that it's holding the jig in place, I'll make sure it's nice and snug so it doesn't move around on me. Now it doesn't matter which hole you start, but I took the set screw drill guide and I put it in the aft hole first. Then you take your drill bit, chuck it up in a drill, put it down through the hole of the guide screw, and start drilling to remove some of the material of the barrel. Now dimpling doesn't take a lot of force and you don't have to do it very long. So if you want, you can do a little bit at a time, blow the chips out and see if you want to go a little bit further. Once that's done, flip the barrel back over and loosen the taper set screw that's holding the jig in place in the gas port and remove it. And there are my two set screw dimples, job complete. Now I'm gonna throw this gas block on the barrel and make sure that the dimples are lined up correctly with the dimples in this gas block. And that looks pretty good. Now all it's left to do is take the set screws, put some blue Loctite on there, and thread them in, torque them down. Now I can install this key mod handguard and pretty much be finished with this upper receiver assembly. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple to dimple your barrel. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of projects in the works. As always, you can head over to the Facebook page. I well, hope you guys have a good one. Later.